Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Premium Leopard 2A4, known in-game as the Leopard 2A4 Panzer Battalion 123. This is currently a Rank 6 BR 10.0 main battle tank for the German Ground Forces Tech Tree. I'll be going over its stats, how it plays, its strengths and weaknesses, and then give some scores for several key areas right before I give my final recommendation on if I recommend this vehicle or not. That said, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you would like more content, as it greatly helps my channel, but either way, let's get into the video. So to start, I'll place its stats here on the side of the screen. Its important stats to know are its speed, armor, and turret traverse rate. Now for how it plays. It plays pretty much like a generic tank, but not in a bad way. It has good armor, speed, maneuverability, general mobility, firepower, and thermals leading to the Premium 2A4 to be a jack of all trades. It can flank, it can be a frontline tank, it can base capture, and it can provide support. All very well and all depending on if it's in an up tier, a down tier, or somewhere in between. While it has decent though not good top tier APF SDS ammunition as it's around 400mm of armor pen at max, you should still be able to pose a threat to most enemy forces if you aim wisely, typically either on their lower glacis plate or, if you're lucky, in the forward position of the side of the enemy's tank hole. Regardless, this is one of the rare tanks in-game that doesn't have too many weaknesses, allowing you to play it almost how you want. It does have poor lower glacis armor, but so do most or all main battle tanks in-game. The only thing you need to worry about is when you decide to play this tank in what way. For example, in a full up tier, you're going to be better for fire support or flanking, due to the limitations of the ammunition that this tank carries. While in a down tier, or even a minor up tier to maybe 10.3 BR, you can play whatever role you'd like. Also something that's unique to this vehicle is its camo netting, of which should provide for additional concealment amongst foliage and other natural elements in the War Thunder world, which gives this a slight advantage over the regular Tech Tree Leopard 2A4, but it's not really anything to write home about. Now that all said, let's get into its strengths and weaknesses, and first for its strengths, it has a very good 120mm cannon that's both accurate and, if you're able to pen, has good post-pen damage. Second, it has excellent mobility due to its 1500 horsepower engine. Third, the Leopard 2A4 has good armor, especially in that turret. Fourth, even though it's only Gen 1, it does still have thermals. For its fifth strength, it has an excellent turret traverse rate which will put you on top of pretty much any other tank in the game, with the exception of maybe the M1 Abrams and maybe another tank if I'm forgetting about some other tank that might have a similar turret traverse rate. Beyond this, you have great survivability if a shell penetrates your armor, typically meaning that you'll have one or two deaths, though not an entire crew death or even an ammo cook-off. For its seventh strength, it has great magnification for its optics. Of course, this is German and it has great both gunner and commander optics. Eighth, it has a camo net standard, making it slightly more difficult to see amongst brush. And finally, of course, it has premium RP and SL bonuses. And now for its weaknesses, of which, as I mentioned before, there are just not all that many. While it has potent turret armor and decent upper glacis armor, it is generally insufficient versus top APF SDS shells in-game. And again, its lower glacis armor really isn't all that good. Second, as with most MBTs, it has mediocre side armor, meaning that pretty much anything that you fire at this thing from the side, whether it's heat FS or APF SDS, will destroy it pretty easily. Third, it lacks an HMG and only carries two LMGs, which while decent, will typically only get you an assist rather than a kill and will not really do all too much when destroying lightly armored ground vehicles. And fourth, while decent, its DM-23 APF SDS shells are not as good as similar BR premium rivals such as the T-72 AV Terms and ZTZ-96A, of which have around 50mm or more armor penetration over the Leopard 2A4 Premium. And with all that out of the way, let's get into its scores. And first, I give the Premium Leopard 2A4 a 6.5 out of 10 for firepower. While post-pen damage is excellent as well as accuracy, as a middling top APF SDS shell for a 10.0 BR tank that sits again at around 400 millimeters of armor pen with the DM-23. It's generally sufficient when aimed well, but for far off targets and targets that are partially in cover, 
they may present a problem. For maneuverability, I give the Premium 2A4 an 8 out of 10, as excellent power to weight ratio of around 27 horsepower per ton, allowing it to easily reach its top speed of 68 km per hour when on roads and traverse off road very comfortably as well. With this, you will be able to outflank enemies and more quickly capture bases than most players in your match, friendly or otherwise, allowing for a potentially higher score than you would get with a slower vehicle, which pretty much almost every vehicle in game will be slower than this, at least insofar as main battle tanks are concerned. For survivability, I give the Premium 2A4 a 7 out of 10. While its armor is overall excellent for 10.0 BR, especially against Heat FS ammunition, it fares more poorly against APF SDS, especially in an up tier. While top tier tends to be a one shot kill fest, the 2A4 gives you at least somewhat of a higher chance of taking two or three hits compared to most tanks. Overall, I give the Premium Leopard 2A4 a 7.5 out of 10, as it can do pretty much anything that you can ask a tank to do, and it looks cool doing it. So, with all that said, do I recommend purchasing the Premium Leopard 2A4 Panzer Battalion 123? Yes, I do. The Leopard 2A4 is one of the most well-balanced vehicles in all of War Thunder in terms of firepower, armor, speed, and technological capabilities, meaning that while it has few things that truly excels at, it has very few weaknesses, especially when compared to other 10.0 BR tanks. It's much more well-balanced than the Terms or ZTZ 96 AP, for example, and likely more so than the other high BR premium tank offerings as well. The Leopard 2A4 can do it all, and while it will get up to your decently often, it can handle itself very well, especially with the competent crew and good shot placement. The Leopard 2A4 is one of those vehicles that, insofar as the regular Tech Tree version is concerned, I did very well since my first match, even when it was completely stock. Because of this, and because of its overall capabilities and fairly easy learning curve, especially for a high BR MBT, I feel that many people with some level of experience through at least some of the more advanced World War II tanks, or hopefully some low-level MBTs, will be able to use this and do fairly well from their first match. The Leopard 2A4 PZ-123 earns the Tankenstein seal of approval, and in my opinion, is one of the most user-friendly high BR tanks in-game. While it won't win a ton of battles, because it really isn't OP, it won't really lose you any either. And thus, this is one of my favorite high BR tanks in-game, at least when my team is not swimming with these because it will suffer from term syndrome very much when everybody pretty much leaves after a single death. That is the biggest weakness of this tank. It's not the tank itself, it's the players playing it. Either way, thanks so much for watching. Please, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think about this vehicle, if I missed anything, if I should add anything in the future. But of course, again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.